bloop, bloop, bloop. You know, I just love a fella in uniform. They look so handsome, don't they? Yeah, but you don't get a lot of those underwater. Fuchsia fish, hello. Well, hello, Olivia the Ostrich. Good to see you both here. Uh, for fire truck dreams. Why? Uh, why are you visiting us for this story? Well, you know, storyteller, I used to have my own fire truck dreams. Yeah, did? Oh yes, I did, Fuchsia. Can I tell you? I once had my heart set afire by the most handsome firefighter. What happened? Well, you know what they say. No, not really. If you play with fire. You will get burned. Oh, she's so dramatic. I love that about her. <laughs> Fire truck dreams. I think these dreams may be different from Olivia's, but it's all right. A fire truck dream is a fire truck dream. And our fire truck here has had a long day of putting out fires and saving kittens from trees, and he's tired, and it's time for him to go to bed. And maybe it's your time too. Look at that beautiful night sky with a twinkle, twinkle little star. And look at that right down there at the bottom corner, our little fire truck heading home after a long day. Needs to get some rest. And look at this, this book is already beautiful. By the way, look at how nice this is. Sharon, the writer, the aunt, dedicated it to her nephews and nieces. That's an awesome aunt. And the illustrator, Dave, he dedicates the book to all the helpers and heroes that run towards danger. That's right, because we should salute those heroes in our world. I love it. A siren turns off. The sun fades away. Fire truck is drained. He's had a big day. Tell me about it, fire truck. From raging brush fires to kittens in trees. He's kept the town safe from danger with ease and a little puppy, Dalmatian puppy. He looks to the homes and then to the park. Ooh, it's a nice one. All quiet and safe, asleep in the dark. See the sun is setting, it's purple, it's getting dark. The park is empty because the kids are at home already, probably in their jammies. His headlights turn on, ah, because it's getting dark. His ladder's locked tight. We don't want that thing swinging around. He blinks and he yawns and then he whispers, good night. Look at that, just cruising through the town. Everybody's probably having dinner or dessert by now, talking about their day, getting their jammies on, getting snuggly about that time. Off to the station to shower and clean bumper to daylight and all in between. See, everybody has to get clean. Bubbles and suds open. Ah, oh, we're going in for shower and don't you wish you could take a bath like he does. He washes and scrubs. He shines up his bells, ding ding. His nose starts to twitch <laughs> from rich sudsy smells. Yeah, you know how sometimes soap makes your nose a little itchy? It happens to me. And there's our little puppy boy hanging out watching it all he'll have his shower later all shiny and fresh his tummy draws tight then echoes a growl across the black night oh first of all he's looking a little worried that big growl that just escaped do you think then maybe maybe he's a little hungry i mean he probably worked up an appetite fighting all those fires but boy does he look shiny and gorgeous he pulls to the pump he opens his cap. He swishes and sways and makes one last lap. That's right, he's at the old swish and swig. It's time to fill up that tank. He needs a little energy for the next day. And to stop the rumbling in his tummy for the night. It's hard to go to sleep when your tummy's going blah, 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 blah. His eyelids grow heavy. It's time to head back. He chooses his book, whoa! His flashers click clack. Now oh, he's at the Rescue Readers Library. I like this place. And I love that he's picking out his own kid time story time. He's back in his bay. Beep, 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 beep. His bucket pulls close. He stretches his valves, his axles and hose. That's right. 
He's just backing into his spot there. It's like, like his little own personal bed nook, if you will. Let's see, an icy wind blast. Ooh, he shivers a chill. He closes his book and clenches his grill. Ooh, is it, is it chilly out there? Oh, must be winter or almost winter. He turns on the heat. Nice, heat warmer. And nestles in tight. The stars twinkle low. The moon casts its light. Oh, there's his book right there next to him. Oh, probably pick it up tomorrow again. His pressures release. <sighs> he lets off some steam. His hoses deflate <sighs> as he drifts off to a dream. Whoa, you know it's a dream because we've got a, a I mean, this is just, just craziness. The bucket has a face and it's splashing and the puppy looks super sized now and there's bells everywhere and this hydrant is like a rocket ship and he's wearing a cape with an F for firefighter. Alarms start to blare. There's trouble nearby. He's, his grill sniffs the air. There's smoke in the sky. Aha, uh -huh. we know what we must do. Look, everybody stops to let him through. And even here it says, stop, stop, don't cross, don't cross. He's got this, he's got the bucket, he's got the dog, he's got the hose. He's got everything he needs to fight the fire. His sirens call out. He zooms to the sand. He finds a campfire that got out of hand. Oh, no. Look at that. Somebody was making s'mores and lost control. That's how fires start. A hero's parade. But he took it out. Look at, look at the water. Water. Whoosh, pours it out. A hero's parade to end his big day. The children salute him. Hip, hip, hooray. The campers all cheer. They offer him s'mores. Sweet treats fill his dream. He grins as he snores. Oh, that is the most awesome dream of his life. Is that not the most awesome thing ever? Hey, hi. Where is Olivia the ostrich? Ow! Well, we were so engrossed in the book. First, she got sleepy because it's a bedtime story. Yeah, uh, did she fall asleep? Well, then no. Then her stomach got grumbly, so she ran to the store to get s'mores. So, you know, we were highly suggestible because of the book. Okay, well, we'll make them, but I will be in charge of the campfire. Deal! I'm not very good anyway. I always end up accidentally putting it out. Which is, I mean, fine if it's out of control, but not so good when you want to start a fire. I understand. You're probably a little... A little wet still. I'm always a little wet, you know, fresh from the ocean and all. Oh, I hope that you enjoyed the fire truck dreams. I did, I did. You know, we don't really have firefighters where I'm from, but boy, they sure are dreamy. Sigh. And sweet dreams to you, kid. And we're gonna be reading more of these, of this series. So there's all kinds of cool things and trucks and race cars and stuff. So make sure that you subscribe and press that little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified because more of these are coming up. See you next time on Kid Time Story Time.